prayer. I want us to understand one thing that there can be pe there can be people in the same situation. One can be in that situation because they've done sin and the other person can be in the same unfavorable situation because they are in the will of God. For example, water and alcohol look alike from a distance. But if you come close to water and alcohol and you smell it, you realize though they look alike, they are not alike. Two people can be in the same situation. One person can be there because of their sin and the other person can be there because Satan is attacking them and God is testing them. For example, we see Jesus hanging on the cross and beside him is a thief and on his other side is a thief. So Jesus has exactly the same situation as the thieves, except Jesus is there doing the will of God and these homies are there because they're getting their fair treatment. There is a difference between lion attacking you and you growing a cub in your house every day and that cub that you grew came and attacked you. Joseph and Samson were both in a prison. Joseph was in the prison because he ran from sin but Samson was in the prison because he ran with sin both are in the same predicament but for different reasons both people can be in the same situation one can be in it because of his sin and the other one can be in it because he is being attacked and both can look alike when you have a sin in your life and you have an attack because of your sin, you must repent of that sin. It's going to do you no good to rebuke the devil. It's going to do you no good to come against the devil if you got a devil sitting on your kitchen table that you're feeding cereal every morning. It's going to do you no good to keep mopping the floor if the faucet is open. It's going to do you no good if the sin is encouraged in your life, if the sin is fed in your life and at the same time you're over here rebuking the devil. The devil may not be the problem. It could be your sin that has brought you in the mess that you are in. But we must understand devil can do nothing without sin. Devil can attack you externally without sin but he cannot destroy you internally until he has a right called sin. Whatever devil can do, sin can do. And whatever sin can do, devil can do. The best way to shut the door to the devil is to uproot the sin and deal brutally with it knowing then he will have no legal right to have an access to your life. Can somebody say amen?